My name is Virginia Surmella and I am a PhD candidate in history at the University of Bilkent in Ankara. My thesis focuses on the Roman and early Byzantine frontier, eastern frontier, alias the Limes Orientalis, in what is today southeastern Turkey, between the present-day region of Mardin and the western part of the region of Chernak. Specifically, I work on the historical region of Turabdin, that was part of the Limes Orientalis from the 3rd century to the mid-7th. Once located at the peripheries of the two major empires of late antique Mesopotamia and the Eastern Mediterranean, the Turabdin owns its historical significance to its nature of outputs somehow away from the Limes itself, being de facto both a periphery to the imperial bodies and a center of its own. This was particularly true thanks to its geomorphological features, a mountainous outpost at the edge of the Anatolian plateau overlooking the Syro-Mesopotamic plain, and at the same time, a crucial gateway to the Roman Empire. It was right in view of this peculiar location and physical geography that the Turabdin developed a strong genius lordship. It was inhabited by a majority of Syrian speaking population during late antiquity, and it became home to an Eastern monastic community during the first centuries of theological simmering that characterized the beginning, the diffusion of the new Christian religion. What I refer to here, as in my research, as the genius lochit of Turabdin, is its human and material culture that developed locally from the 4th to the 8th century, and that persists with a strong resilience during the Umayyad and the Abbasid rule, and even survived the formation and the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, resulting in some sort, in, in something that someone else described and defined as the Pompeian benefit of Turabdin, which is to say the chance of being in strong, in near touch with his historical past. During my academic career as a bachelor student at the University of Napoli L'Orientale and as a master student at the University of Siena in Italy, I matured a strong interest in the environment, cultural environment and settlement patterns dynamics of the frontier environment. And one optimal observation point was finally offered to me by my supervisor in Siena, Enrico Zanini, who introduced me to the region of Turabdin. Since then, and during my following visit to the region, I have been struck to the high level of resilience of the Byzantine settlement pattern and material culture of this region that I have referred before, and to the extent of which it still respond to the presence of a very close frontier, the frontier with Syria, between Turkey and Syria, and its gravitational dynamics. Because of this, I believe that the key to understanding the multiple landscapes of Turabdin lies in the distinctive interaction between the different layers. So from one side, the Syriac monastic pattern, on the other side, the military outpost dotting the region along the Syrian Mesopotamic plain and the, um, and the course of the Tigris River, and least but not last, the network of rural villages that were organized according to the orbitals of the two major gravitational points, the monastic on one side, the religious landscape, and the military environment with its infrastructures along the frontier. This multi-layered and yet highly defined material culture calls for an equally multidisciplinary approach, the development of which required an accurate design work that I carried out, and I am still carrying out, with the continuous discussion and confrontation with my supervisor at the University of Bilkent, Luca Zavagno. The outcome of this consists of a kaleidoscopic methodology in two phases. First, with a deconstructive operation, the breaking down of the different landscapes of Turabdin, the military, the monastic, the rural. At this stage, two extensive surveys are envisaged in selected area within the region, which are inspired by the well-tested work and that Robert Ausserold did in Cappadocia, which I had the privilege of studying and observing on the field 
thanks to one of the Cappadocia Encontes Pro Summer Program, organized by the Center for Anatolian Civilization and led by Robert Osterau himself and Professor Tolga Oyar. The second stage of this approach that I developed during my visiting research period at the University of Durham under the supervision of Alberto Rigolio will consist differently of a reconstructive operation, which is to say a meticulous reassembly of all those layers to reconstruct a sub-regional reality along the Limes Orientalis. At this stage, I will draw on a substantial pool of written sources that I have been studying during the previous year of my doctoral program, which are in Latin, Greek, Syriac and Arabic. And simultaneously to this second phase, once the fundamentals of Turab Din latentic setting will be laid down, I aim at moving somehow forward into the historical reconstruction. And if you may allow me, if you allow me a figure of speech, moving from the so-called archaeology of things to the archaeology of people, which is to say, inhabiting the monasteries, the fortresses, the houses, the churches, the village churches, the passageway, the vineyard, the olive grove, basically the Turabdin landscape, by bringing the social player into the equation. And in doing so, perhaps, opening new scenarios over the Byzantine Latentic frontier. And therefore, to conclude, my research aims at spotlight one microecology within the macroeconomy of the Byzantine frontier, a perspective that it focuses on the sub-regional realities within the Byzantine Empire, that in my opinion has received relatively little attention by the former scholarship so far. Indeed, by detecting the implicit or deliberate assertion of identity that shaped the multiple landscapes of the two Rabdin, I intend a shed some, to shed some light on the so-called empty scapes within the frontier, those scapes, those spaces of which we don't actually know that much about. And perhaps by doing so again, it might help, it might contribute to shed some light, some light as well on the empty scapes within the whole Byzantine Empire.